Hey, Tita Files. Great news. So I've actually updated my camera. I've now got a GoPro Hero Session. As you can see from the wide angle lens we've got going on here. Um, and we're back with another video. So recently I've done the Plummy Earl Grey Twinings, which got five teaspoons quite famously. Obviously we knew that was going to happen anyway. And now I'm going to try the Nutty Chocolate Assam. Let me just read a little bit about this. These teas are too good to keep to yourself. Why not share them with your neighbour? No. Said that yesterday. Again, let the tea bag brew for three to five minutes. Enough time for the rich chocolate and hazelnut flavours to blend with the robust assa. Feel free to add a splash of milk or enjoy it black. A sweet, chocolatey and creamy hazelnut taste. Like a praline truffle. Praline truffle. I haven't had many assams, to be honest, but um, I've had a few. They're quite malty. And um, I was actually on Twitter the other day. I've seen someone describe it as... The Ringo Star of Teas, you know, from the course of the Beatles, the Mop Tops. So this is obviously part two of the Twinings trilogy, the Loose Leaf Pyramid trilogy, I should say. First rule, smell the tea. Oh, yeah. It smells like almost like a Ferrero Ferrero Rocher, nutty, chocolatey. I'm getting all that, yeah. Wouldn't say it's. I wouldn't say I bathe in it and go clubbing like I would the Earl Grey, but let's just see again. It does smell quite nice. Just be careful with these bags when pulling this tag off because the string can rupture the bag, and then you're in a whole world of trouble. <laughs> right, it says three to five minutes. I'm gonna do four minutes and we'll see how we get along. So this is what we're dealing with today. The grains in these bags are much longer, much larger. And the porous silk bag allows the flavour to permeate that little bit more. And what you're going to get is a more full-bodied, round sort of flavour with a bit of depth to it, a bit of a profile to it. You know, your, your, your normal tea that most people probably drink every day in the conventional tea bags. It doesn't have a broad sort of spectrum of flavour. It's quite narrow in a sense. And that's why you can graduate to loose leaf. Uh, all loose leaf pyramids is a good alternative. And that way you will get a bit more of a deep, well-rounded sort of flavour. As I say, Assam's not something I generally drink that often. I've, I don't think I've ever actually, well, up until now, I don't think I've ever actually bought it by itself. I've often got it as part of a larger set, a twining set or a Wittard set. There's been Assams in there, but I've never purposefully gone out and bought an Assam itself. So I'm looking forward to this. Could be interesting. Um, but yeah, as I say, fully recommend this sort of range at least. I can't, you know, obviously vouch for each individual flavour of tea, but this sort of design of tea bag from Twinings is excellent. It's sort of hybrid, sort of go between between tea bags and loose leaf. So definitely worth checking them out. As I say, a bit on the expensive side, I believe this, yeah. This also retails at £3.49 for 12 pyramids. So again, it's on the premium side. It's not something that you could probably drink every day. It's not something that you can drink habitually in that sense. But um, it's a bit of a treat. It's something that you can have maybe at the weekend or if you're just having a bad day or something like that, you could go for something like this. Um, as I say, I've seen it three for two on the Twilands website. I had to take advantage. So... Get a bit of, bit of getting used to this GoPro with the wide lens. I've got a little preview on my iPad there, and it's it's crazy how the shots frame completely differently with the wide angled lens. So again, because it's a black team, I'm going to try it without milk first, see how we go, and then in time, I might add milk to it to taste. It's very nutty. It's very chocolatey. Like the plummy Earl Grey for me, it still tastes like Earl Grey. But there's little bits of other flavours in there that, that keep you guessing. It's a bit curious tasting. This is nut and chocolate. It's almost like them green teas that I tasted the other day. You can smell the flavouring in it. Um, so I'm quite interested to see what the tea says about itself. Because this is an issue that we've come along quite a lot. Especially with the green teas. Does the tea stand up enough for itself? Ordinarily black tea does. So I'm quite interested to see if it's the same with this. Okay, the advisory time has gone off. So that's four minutes or so. Okay. Again, regrettably, I'm gonna get rid of the tea bag now. It's always, I always feel like I'm taking it out too early, almost. On initial taste, it tasted that little bit um, savory almost. Whereas the Earl Grey was very sweet, 
very refreshing, very uplifting. This is a lot more savoury. It's very earthy, nutty. Um, this is something that I did mention on the Earl Grey video that I prefer to have that with milk, uh, without milk. This is something that I feel maybe I'm gonna give it a few more tastes, but it might need that milk to sort of balance it out a little bit, give it a little bit of sweetness. But I like it. I do like it. It's um, it's different to the Earl Grey, and that's what's good. Variety is the spice of life, and we need different teas and different flavour profiles, and that's what this offers. It's quite relaxing. The Earl Grey, is, it's, it's a tour de force. It's an exhilarating ride. This is a bit more mellow. It's a bit, you know. Um, but I love the idea of the nut and the chocolate. I think it works so well with the black tea. That's lovely, that. It's almost like a hot chocolate tea hybrid, but it's definitely more on the tea side. It's very interesting, very different. But um, just to wrap this up, I'm giving this four teaspoons because it absolutely bangs. It doesn't quite slap in the same way the Earl Grey does, but an excellent tea nonetheless. I'll be back soon with the Bollywood Chai Latte, then we'll really get it in. Four teaspoons. Thanks, Twinings. See ya.